Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Jacob Dev. Today's topic is Honyun video. Um, so this was to a very large uh, video framework, uh, which um, is very hard to set up, which requires a lot of the VRAM. But recently, or just in the past one or two days, um, CD96 has released the Honyun video GGUI effort, which tend to reduce a lot of VRAM usage that you can uh, just run Huion video or very small, yeah, uh, to cleanse to 8 gigs or 12 gigs. Um, but I think um, it actually depends on the GPU, actual GPU box you use. Um, so that being said, in this video, I'll show you how to set up everything on Kaggle to see how much VRAM it actually uses using the Huion video GGUF. Uh, release. So that being said, let's get started. So if you go to um, this CD96 Huion video that you have, you should be able to see all these different uh, quantized version of the um, transformer, basically, uh, or the main model. So this text to video model, um, you can choose the smallest, which is the three bit. Um, I think the four bit somehow will not work on Pego, but two three will work. So hopefully it will work. So but we'll go through step by step in the Kaggle setup. Um, so that being said, uh, let's go to Kaggle. Um, so first uh, in the Kaggle notebook, we have to uh, uh, set up the uh, path instead of working before. You, you have to set, go to the temp. So because in, in the temp, you can see there's um, max um, 50, uh, 57 gigs. Um, actually can go up to 70 gigs uh, but uh, this is the reason why you want to switch the folder to the temp folder then you have to install uh, all the default dependencies for config ui so torch torch vision torch audio so that's um, basically from the 12.4 cuda netly built after that you just install config ui so and you can then cd to config ui to install all the config ui requirements and after that the config ui basic setup is ready then uh, you have to basically download the GUF model and also the clip model and the VAE for this um, Huion video setup. So first we download the GUF version of it. Um, so it's from the uh, CD96 Huion video GUF. Um, so the folder we just talked about this video, Q3K small. So this is small one, smallest one you can use. So only six gigs. The original one I think is 25 gigs, which is crazy. And after that, make sure you put this into UNet folder. So both UNet and the, I believe the uh, diffusion models folder, both folder works. Um, but uh, I think the default they recommend is to just use dump it to the UNet. So I move that everything to UNet. This is the Q4, the median 4-bit model, but this model doesn't work. I can try that out also. Um, the one, it's uh, smallest is this one. So, which is the one that's actually running right now, by the way. Uh, so it's Q3, the smallest one, the small, right? The smallest six gigs. Um, so that's the smallest one. So you can see even with the smallest one, uh, so you can, it only, it takes the GPU up to 15 gigs. So if the VRAM is eight gigs or uh, 12 gigs, probably most of the resource is actually moving to the CPU if people claim that works. So, but if you can see from the uh, Kaggle dashboard with the uh, small list set up with all these different models, it takes up already 15 gigs. So, but this in, uh, have 16 gigs. So we have one gig left. Um, but um, having said, let's continue. So after you set up the model for the GGUF model, uh, you have to set up the clip as well. So just download the uh, clip from uh, Flux Text Encoders or from this uh, Huion Repackaged repo. So you can have the uh, clip L, the zip tensors from both of the repos. Um, the official one, I believe that's from Flux Text Encoders. So uh, just do the um, double get to get the uh, clip one zip tensors um, clip and then put it into the clip folder. And then you get the uh, text encoders, which is also a quantized one, so, uh, FP8 version of it. 
so you can go to this Huangyuan video repackage folder. So I believe it's in here. So go to the comfy UI. This is official release though. Uh, it's Huangyuan video repackage. And then you go to this split files, text encoders, go to this uh, quantized version. They have uh, a FP16 version. Just go to the smaller one. So, and let's continue with the Kaggle setup. Then uh, put this um, quantized version of the text encoder to the clip also. So move that to the clip folder. And after that, uh, we set up the uh, VAE. So you can see, um, first we have to do uh, double get for the um, VAE BF16. So you can get this from this Kaiji um, rebel. So this is one from, I believe from uh, here. So Kaiji Huang Video Confite. And then you go to this uh, rebel. They have a lot of the different models. Use the uh, VA only. You can do BF16 or FP32. So uh, let's use the uh, BF16. Uh, you can also try the FP32 as well. But either way, put it into the VA folder. After that, um, make sure you also uh, check out the large file um, storage for the kit. Make sure that's available. And for um, the custom nodes, you do need to install the ConfUHGUF and ConfUI Manager. So uh, first do install ConfUHGUF, right? So, and then uh, make sure you install all these requirements. Um, and then you install the ConfUI Manager, put it into the custom nodes folder, and uh, also install this requirement for ConfUI Manager. Uh, so if you um, don't know how to set up the GGUF or want to know what it is, just go to this uh, CD96 Comfy UI GUI uh, GitHub repo. So there's a lot of introduction of it. So uh, you can go through those. It's very useful. And uh, but to set up in Comfy UI, just uh, put it into the custom nodes of Comfy UI folder and install all these dependencies here. And after that, uh, we just check everything is in place, do a listing for all different folders. For custom nodes, uh, you net uh, diffusion uh, models and also the clip VAE folders. Make sure they all exist and all the files are put in place. So you can see that everything is in place. For the custom nodes, you can see GGUF and Configure Manager are in place. Uh, Huang Yuan Video, Huang Yuan Video uh, is also in place. Um, so it's on the diffusion model. Uh, basically, we have the previously downloaded uh, 4-bit version model. You can put this 4-bit uh, to the same UNI folder as well, but we put a different folder, uh, but they both work. And after that, make sure uh, the clip have all these files as well. So the clip L, sift tensors, and the 8-bit Lava Lama 3 uh, sift tensor. Also, for uh, the VAE, you have the FP32 and BF16. So everything is in place. And after that, all the setup is almost ready. Just make sure you install Ungrok to turn all everything inside the notebook to outside. So also make sure you get the Ungrok token from your Ungrok console. And after that, make sure you map the port from the Ungrok public bureau to a local host 8188. So this is a comfy UI port. And that's it. So you can see that's actually the FE5 uh, mapped to this port 81880. It is running right now. and so we're waiting for everything to build, but this is the setup. So after you set everything up on Kaggle, you can see that um, basically uh, it's running on this 81A port. So we've already spin up everything on Kaggle. So you can see it's the FE5. So this is also the FE5. It's running in process. Uh, the total progress at least is 73% and the uh, Video generation process only 25%. So as you can see, that's actually running 25% uh, of the steps. So 20 steps in the scheduler. So now it's only 25. So, so still some time to go. It will take probably an hour, I think. Um, and then so you can see this is actually progressing. So after everything's uh, set up, you just have to go to this um, official uh, Comfy UI anonymous GitHub folder to get this example workflow. So go to this link. I'll paste the link in the video description below. Um, but you go to this link, download the workflow from here. And so, and then after you download the JSON file, 
uh, go to this um, Kaggle spin up config UI URL and then basically just do upload workflow, open and open the JSON and download it from here. So that's it. So one thing to note is that the default workflow uh, has a little issue with the uh, loading of the GGF model. So instead of doing the load diffusion model, um, we just use the UNet loader. So double click the canvas, search for uh, UNet loader. So you can see the GGF is here and just click and then you should be able to uh, add this to the canvas. And also make sure you point the models link to this uh, model sampling SD3 and also the one that's in here, basic scheduler. So that's it. Uh, so basically to move the link from the low division model to the UNAP loader at GGUF. So you can see the model name is Q3. So that's what we downloaded. And also the dual CI loader is actually using the clip loader L and also that P8 uh, Lava Lama 3. So you can see this VAE is the default BF16 as for the Hong Kong video VAE. So everything else works. Uh, just make sure you change this um, low division model to unit loader. So that's it. But you can also adjust all this width length of the uh, video. Uh, eventually you can have uh, different shapes of the video. Uh, you can also make sure uh, you update some of the output for the safe animated uh, WebP. You can change it to something like um, the video hopper suite, right? So it's a video hopper suite. Uh, so make sure you can also use this as a, a install as a custom node and just uh, put a, a different output node in here. So we'll be able to um, have more rich output. Uh, but that's it. So this is how you actually set up everything for Hong Kong video on Kaggle. So uh, we're still waiting this to build. So you can see actually it's 15 gigs. And after everything is built, hopefully we can uh, download it. So uh, this is how you actually can set everything up on Kaggle and try the whole new video uh, out. So that being said, hope this is helpful. If you do like this video, please subscribe, like or comment. If you have any questions, I'll paste all links in the description. And uh, thanks for supporting the channel. See you in the next one.